Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Uh, I'd like to talk today about vitamin D, uh, and in particular I'd like to talk about the difference between ergocalciferol, vitamin D2, and cholecalciferol, vitamin D3. Uh, both of these forms of the vitamin are found in supplements. Uh, ergocalciferol, vitamin D2, is the preferred form of the vitamin uh, to be used in the medical industry and therefore if you take a prescription vitamin D supplement you will be taking ergocalciferol. Uh, the, the type of uh, vitamin D used in, in supplements varies, you need to check the labels. Um, I would recommend that if you are looking at a vitamin D supplement that you choose the cholecalciferol form of the vitamin, that is the vitamin D3 form, and that is because it is more biologically active. And therefore, uh, the recommendations to take vitamin D, you will not have to adjust them if you take the vitamin D3 form. If you take vitamin D2, ergo calciferol, uh, and you follow the recommendations to take um, the vitamin D, you will need to increase your dose because the amount of vitamin uh, D2 you take uh, will not raise your plasma levels of vitamin D to the same level as if you took vitamin D3 form. Okay, so why is uh, vitamin D3 more biologically active? Well, the vitamin D3 form of um, vitamin D uh, is the type, uh, uh, the form that we produce in our skin from the action of UV light. Uh, it's, the, it's the type of vitamin D that we produce uh, endogenously and therefore it is more biologically active because our uh, internal biochemistry is set to use that form of the vitamin. Now studies have compared uh, the ability of the different forms of vitamin D to raise plasma levels of a marker called 2,5-hydroxyvitamin D. 2,5-hydroxyvitamin uh, D is formed when dietary vitamin D or the vitamin D in our skin is sent to the liver and the liver has hydroxylating enzymes that converts the vitamin D into a 2,5-hydroxyvitamin D derivative. And that is the biologically active form. It's also the known marker that is used as a measure of how much vitamin D you have in your plasma. When studies have compared the vitamin D3 form to the vitamin D2 form, it's found that the vitamin D3 form can raise plasma levels of this 2,5-hydroxyvitamin D about 70% higher than the, v, uh, the, the, the vitamin D2 form. So it's more biologically active. It increases uh, the uh, biological marker 2,5-hydroxyvitamin D to a greater extent. Now, this is uh, likely because the vitamin D3 form has a higher affinity for the hydroxylating enzyme in the liver. Uh, it also has a higher affinity for the vitamin D binding protein. Therefore, it is moved around and utilized in the body uh, more efficiently than the vitamin D2 form. Another reason that vitamin D3 is more biologically active is because it requires more deactivating steps uh, for it to become inactive in the body, lose its vitamin D ability. Uh, vitamin D2 um, actually only requires a couple of steps and it becomes inactive and therefore it's more readily excreted from the body. So you need to take more vitamin D2 in order to have the same effect as taking vitamin D3. Now, if you did increase your vitamin D D2 intake, um, you would still get all of the benefits of vitamin D. Uh, it's just that it's less biologically active, so you have to take more of it. Um, therefore, what I would recommend uh, is because the recommendations for taking vitamin D, uh, because the, the, the recommendations from the nutritional literature uh, use vitamin D3 as the form, if you want to follow those recommendations, it's important that you take the vitamin D3 form in your supplements. Uh, that will allow you to be able to, to adjust your levels to, uh, the, to, to match the recommendations. If you take ergocalciferol, if your multivitamin, for example, take, uh, contains ergocalciferol, or your supplement contains ergocalciferol, just bear in mind that the amount of 2,5-hydroxyvitamin D you, you will produce from that will be less, and you will have to adjust your intake accordingly. Um, Personally, for the for the hassle of having to adjust it and all the guesswork there is in vitamin D intakes anyway, I would suggest that you take a vitamin D3 supplement if you are supplementing with vitamin D uh, at all. Uh, and I would suggest that you follow the recommendations to make sure that your plasma levels ra rise to about 100 nanomoles per litre. Uh, and the recommendation over winter is about 2000 IU for an adult.